Jane Clark was one of those types of women who knew what she wanted and how to get it. She wanted Joel. Jane's jealous ex-boyfriend knew what he wanted, but didn't know how to get it. That was Jane. This is a goofball. I can't help it, you know. I got this sweet ass monkey dance. <laughs> Jane's plan for happily ever after didn't work out too good after her ex-boyfriend's murder-suicide thing. Traumatic brain injury isn't something that can be fixed with positive thinking, visualization, or even tips from the Christian Science Monitor. Jane. Jane, you'll be okay, baby. Behind door number one was the best day of Jane's life, although she didn't know it at the time. Jane, can you hear me? It's all so sad. Jane and Joel would have had a long life together, a little girl who would grow up to cure restless leg syndrome and a hairless chihuahua that lived to be 30. Okay, here comes the obligatory independent film killer grabs the victim scene. And here's the part where the strong female character kicks the shit out of the dickhead who changed her life. So Jane opens door number two to the worst day of her life. And I guess you can figure out what that is. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> A lot of women are vain, but Jane wasn't like that. Not saying that she didn't mind looking at herself in a mirror, but the gunshot wound to her head changed the feng shui of her face pretty bad. When two people are in love, it's hard to keep them apart, even when one is in a vegetative state of a meditative nightmare. I can't stay, can I? Tell me the truth. I won't let you go. I can take care of you. I don't care. Joel might not care if Jane had crossed over into eggplant territory, but Jane did. Even at her young age, she signed a do not resuscitate order you got to admire anybody her age having the foresight to do something reserved for wheelchair zombies in the rest home. I have to go, Joel. 
I can't stay. I can't just be in this life like this. Okay, everybody knows when to head to the exit, right? Well, almost everybody, except politicians, geriatric rock stars, and Brett Favre. Joe. It wouldn't be me. It wouldn't be me. Jane, you may ask yourself, how did I get here? You may ask yourself, what is that beautiful kite? You may ask yourself, where does that kite lead to? From now on, you call the shots. <laughs>